Hey guys, my name is Hadia. I just want to start out wishing everyone a happy now rose. It was the Afghan New Year's Eve Friday on the 20th of March and I hope you all had a lovely time hopefully with your families. I actually wasn't with my family as I was in self-quarantine just to be on the safe side side but I'm home now which is also why this video is coming up today because you can't really have a now rose without afmewa which is of course the traditional drink we always have for New Year's Eve. It basically consists of seven different kinds of dried fruits. However, it might differ from household to household how you make it. This year my mum made it and we had two different kinds of raisin in ours, so the green ones and the red ones. We also had almonds, walnut, pistachios, as well as two different kinds of dried apricots. The main thing about making afmewa is that you're basically making it the day before Nowruz because you first of all have to peel the skin of the walnuts, almonds and pistachios and you do so by basically putting it in hot water that will basically make it very easy on you and yourself. Afterwards you want to make sure you put in all the dried fruits in one big massive bowl and then you want to pour hot water in the bowl and let it stay there for 24 hours so just stay there overnight basically the main important thing about it being whole water is that it otherwise would just go bad like the fruit will just go bad so make sure that it's hot water you're using the reason afmewa is such a sweet drink is because it gets to stay like the dried fruits gets to stay in the water for such a long time so that's really important for you to know it doesn't just get to be there for an hour or two it actually have to be there for several several hours the next morning you are either ready to serve it or if you like it really sweet like we do in our house then you can choose to pour one to two tablespoons of sugar in the afmewa as well before you serve it I quite like how symbolic Afmewa is because it's supposed to basically symbolize how your year should be. So fruitful, sweet and just lovely. And I really like that thought, especially in these days. And speaking of these days, if there's any way I can make your quarantine time better by making a special dish, then please do write me and I'll do my best to look into it. Thank you so much for following along. It means so much to me. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!